Rocky Top Picker here, as of the recording of this video, is Sunday, January 21st, 2024. Bitter cold, ladies and gentlemen, here in Rocky Top headquarters. In this video, though, we're going to talk about if you want to be a successful full-time reseller, particularly on eBay, your business must have this element. We're going to talk about that, and we're going to go over some sales. Join me, shall you? Welcome back to Rocky Top. My name is Ben, the Rocky Top Picker, and we're going to talk about in this particular episode, to be a successful full-time eBay reseller, in my humble opinion, your business must have this element which is bread and butter. Now, I'm not talking about the bread and butter that you would eat. However, toasted bread and some butter on it would be very good right now, but I digress. Anyway, your bread and butter items are common items that sell for your business on a regular basis, or I should say more often. Now, for me, most of you that have been following my channel for a good while know that in about all the what sold videos that I do, there's always golf head club covers that I sell. So that would be considered a bread and butter item. So you have to find what moves for you on a regular, and it's a good idea to have large quantities of the bread and butter items. Now, bread and butter could be all sorts of things, as I'm sure all your bread and butter items in your store are different from mine. But having a good stable of consistent bread and butter items. Now, the bread and butter tends to be, in my case, not your high dollar, high ticket items, but generally fall $20 or less. Now, I know that there's been debate going on for a long time about, oh, I'm not going to fool with anything that's under $15 or, you know, I'm setting my limit. I'm not selling anything under $20. Whatever you decide to do for your business is your business. I ain't got no dog in your race. Nobody has a dog in my race. You do what's right for you. So for me, based on the crap economy that we're in and have been in for the last several years, I think it is advantageous as a seller to have a wide range of price points of merchandise in your store. It's not every day that somebody's going to go into your store and drop $300 or $200 on one single item. That doesn't happen. If it happens every day consistently, well, it's got to have a massive sell-through rate. Two, you have to have a steady supply of high-ticket items, which a lot of sellers I know, especially in some rural areas, they don't have access always to high-ticket items. But your bread and butters, the bread and butters is what pays the bills. But it's been, I don't even think that I've done a What Sold video in 2024. So we're going to run through some items and then we're going to pick back up on what I just got done talking about. First up, what we got is a simpleton. This is another bread and butter item is video games. This is an SS SSX Tricky Box X Game Extreme Sports sold for $8.49 plus shipping. One of the uh, a story about these train tracks and some of you have probably run across this. This is a Lionel train track and they're 30 inches long straight train track pieces. And I think there's four of them in this bundle. Well, these sold previously, but I came, came out of here one day and saw this on my front porch and it's got a return to sender insufficient address. So whoever the buyer was has not input their address correctly on their account so I had to reach back out to the buyer and say hey I got your item returned to me your address is not correct 
I'll have to refund you minus the shipping this purchase price and then you'll need if you want them still you'll need to go back in and repurchase well based on how the name is and the way it's spelt and the way he was typing to me he must not be very good at English because he said he didn't know how to go in and make a new order whatever it was don't care I refunded him the purchase price of these tracks but I did not refund the shipping and auto relisted this as soon as I issued the refund and then two days later it sold back out for full price so I'm happy with that this sold for $34.85 plus shipping and this is going to the west coast so this order is $77 in total with shipping the bread and the butter golf club head cover right here tailor made R9 Fairwood head cover and this has got an ID tag on the front where you can customize your club numbers on it this was a part again is that huge golf club head cover buy I made last year made it last year ladies and gentlemen last year and it's still paying me just about every single day in buying in bulk wonderful if you've not done buying in bulk things like this large quantities of items that move well the bread and butter you need to start gearing your business to that I get asked all the time you know how do you become full-time what do you need to do to be full-time well you like I said at the top of the program you must identify and carry bread and butter items this is probably going to take you some time to figure out what those items are but you can do it so this sold eight dollars plus shipping now i've said this way back last year you know i paid 400 and some dollars for 536 of these in the first 19 covers i sold got my money back so everything i've been into profit for these things for months hey hey next this was a part of an ebay seller getting out of the business and i bought like 20 different tubs of their inventory and these were at the bottom of a tub these are vintage mickey mouse bisque 1930s made in japan figurines these have been listed for i don't know maybe a couple of weeks these sold for 51 dollars plus shipping and note that they're not in the best condition but they still sold plushies plushies you want to know what a bread and butter item is that is good for a local reseller that lives here where i do rebel the reseller check her out here on youtube she literally lives i don't know maybe 10 miles from me full-time reseller on ebay for years she makes a living selling plush plush could be your bread and butter so this sold, this is a plush 17 inch sloth. This sold for eight bucks, 46 cents plus shipping. Now there, as you know, there are some plush that command big dollars depending, depending on what it is. I've not really focused a lot on plush, but this could be a bread and butter for some of you out there. Oh, and by the way, to my good friend and co-host in the reseller locker room podcast if you've not subscribed to that show i am one of the co-hosts along with beard king picker biscuit butt and soda city flips we all co-host the resellers locker room podcast here on youtube new episodes drop on thursday mornings at 9 a.m when you have high dollar plushes or even low dollar plushes some of you may think it's okay to throw them in a poly bag and normally i would agree but alex beard king picker when you get a special request from a buyer to take especially good care of their plush so it doesn't get damaged throw it in a box customer service in what we do is key ladies and gentlemen key 
I sold some, uh, I bought a bunch of old antique trains off of Facebook Marketplace. It was sometime back in early December, I think. And these are nothing but flat um, gondola cars. And they're from the late 50s, early 60s. There's, I bundled these up. There's eight different cars in here. Put all these together, they sold for $43.34 plus shipping. Something that I really don't like dealing with, but at one of the very last yard sales of the yard sale season, fall of last year, they had this box full of dishware, full of decorative plates and bowls. And normally I would not even buy anything. I mean, it's pretty standard, pretty standard stuff. Normally I wouldn't even buy anything like this, but the box said free. And I'm not gonna turn down free, especially if I know I can make a buck on it. And you shouldn't either. So these are a lot of four Gibson Housewares Blue Stripe cereal bowls. Just basically what it is. Just plain everyday cereal bowls. $14.44 plus shipping. Oh yes, this reminds me of the college days. How many of you are fans of the ramen noodles? Leave your comment down below if you have consumed a lot of this product over the years. And if you have, tell me what your favorite flavor is. Mine personally is the beef flavor. However, I am uh, partial to the shrimp flavor in the ramen noodle. You know, growing up and then going into college, you know, I was broker than a friggin' convict. So, most of my meals were this. This is a hoodie sweatshirt that I picked up at Goodwill for $2.99. It sold for $12.57. Voila. Figurines. Take me to Sesame Street. These are your thick resined uh, just little figures there's big bird and we've got cookie monster and another big bird another cookie monster and oscar the grouch no idea these had to have come from a yard sale maybe they had them in a free box or quarter or 50 cents but i picked them up because they're sesame street figures i don't see a lot of these out in the wild like that don't have a lot in them. Uh, matter of fact, I've never even been able to find where Sesame Street is. Anyway, these figurines sold for $8.49 plus shipping. All right, in a previous video where I went to a vintage toy show that was here in town, if you've not caught that toy show video where I went picking, Go back through my video catalog here and pull up that video and you can see where I picked some of these items up and I picked this up. Now this is, I can't read his name. Of course this is Spider-Man, but this is called a Ben Cooper Halloween mask. Apparently back in the day he was a famous costume designer, created masks such as this, you know. We used to have these when we were kids. Oh, and by the way, since I've got to spend some time with each of you, I had a birthday on January 17th, and I am, sad to say, 51 years old now. I am beyond antique. But anyway, bought this for a dollar. The guy was getting ready to break down. It was towards the end of the day during the show. And I just started going through and saying, what do you want for this? What? He goes, you can have it for a dollar. I went, boom, done. $10 plus shipping. <laughs> oh, yes. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much. Yes. Let me tell you something about jerseys. This is a Science Hill High School jersey, which is a high school 30 miles up the road from here. Believe it or not, high school stuff sells just like college stuff and NFL stuff does. And they are collectors of the high school level of sports. And this is your basic 
uh, football jersey, practice jersey actually. It's Science Hill Hilltoppers. It is, um, it is actually the school that uh, former Gator coach Steve Spurrier graduated from. So if there's a Steve Spurrier collector, they would want to be interested in anything related to his high school. But anyway, it's funny how life works on eBay. Got a message, wanted to know the length of this jersey. I sent them the measurements. Then they made me an offer, and I didn't see it till the next day, but before I could go and respond, they went ahead and bought it and paid full price. Funny how that happens sometimes. This sold for $19.51 plus shipping. Gave $1.99 for it at Goodwill. Okay, final thing is a push light, but it's Garfield. Now, this box is in horrible what I consider to be horrible condition. Picked this up on a whatnot auction. Um, I don't remember when. Sometime late last year. I think I got it for $3. And this sold, in the time of filming this, this sold for $15.99 plus shipping. So what we have, ladies and gents, is 12 orders going out for $373, of which 90% of this, in my opinion, is my bread and butter. If bread and butter pays me $370 a day, I'll take it. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I would please ask you to give a like to it. Leave me a comment down below, and if you're watching and you've never subscribed to the Rocky Top Picker channel, I invite you to do so. It helps me out. It's your way of showing support for the videos that I'm putting my time and effort into to one, entertain you, and to two, hopefully you'll pick up a nugget of information that could help you in your reselling journey. And the great way to show support is to hit the sub button, hit the thumbs up, leave me a comment because I enjoy talking to each and every one of you that leave me a comment on this channel. And please, I would ask if you have not checked out the Resellers Locker Room podcast that I am the point and lead on with three other talented resellers go over there to the reseller locker room podcast hit that sub button watch our past episodes they are really funny and entertaining if you sit home and list turn the reseller locker room on and let it play in the background and just listen to the antics that these guys over on that channel put me through but anyway my name is ben thank you for joining me today and you know that i cannot wait to see you right back here on good old Rocky Top. Haven't done this in a while. All right, Benny lines up and he's getting ready to throw the ball in. It's gonna be a heater! <laughs>